Hey everybody, welcome to the happy hour with Heather B. I am Heather B, of course, and I'm super excited today because the football season is upon us. I have tons of people over my house to drink and eat and do some stuff, and I thought, wouldn't it be nice to set up a beer bar, especially for my female friends that come over and love to drink beer, but wanted to add a little twist to it. So I got something for you. I can show you how to do this at home. The first thing that I came up with is a beer martini. All right. As always, you take your martini glass, fill it with ice and water and let the glass get nice and chill. Once you do that, you dump it right in here. Okay. Secondly, get your trusty shakers, fill it up with ice halfway as we always do. And Svedka, I love them. I love them. I love them for coming up with the strawberry culotta vodka it has pineapple notes in it it's so good so i want to start with this and base my martini first one two three four give it a nice count right there and then also i came up with a nice you know sort of passion fruit drink i took uh pineapple peach nectar mango nectar shook it up put it all together and i'm going to add that right on top of here one two three four just like you're making a martini get your trusty shaker Give it a nice shake. You still have to do this part, even though we're going to add some beer to this. But you don't want to shake it with the beer inside. So give it a nice shake. Let that shaker get nice and cold. Oh, I love smells. You can smell all that fruit punch goodness right there. And look at the nice color. All right, you want to pour it about halfway right there because you don't want to lose the strawberry flavors, the peach, the mango. You don't want to lose that and fill it all up. And I thought it would be nice to top it with this Berry Weiss beer. It's a beer filled with berries, blackberries, raspberries, all type of raspberries. And I'm going to put this right on top. Look at that. Now tell me you can't do this at home. All right, so you have the berries, you have the pineapples, you have the peaches, you have the mango, you have the strawberry vodka. Oh, and of course, said strawberry, you got to put a nice little garnish on there. Take a sip. This is so good. It's almost like a flavored ginger ale right on top of your martini. All right, so that should be a martini. The second one, you're going to love this. All you people out there who have a sweet tooth, just like I do, beer and ice cream. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm telling you it's the perfect combination. And what better ice creams to have than banana split and red velvet? And I'll show you how simple this is to do it. Just get two nice big glasses about this size. Sometimes people drink cognac out of these or scotch and soda. Nice glasses like this. All right. Get you some your nice scoop, but keep it in water because it always helps to scoop the ice cream out if it's hard. All right. Give yourself two nice scoops. Scoop number one, come on, banana split. And then scoop number two. Not too much ice cream, because you still want the beer to be the star of it. And what I thought would be good with this, I found this really good banana bread beer. How can you go wrong with it? I had it by itself, it was so good, and I thought, mm, this would be perfect on top of ice cream. And you just want to take it and pour it right on top. Like an ice cream, ice cream float, but with alcohol. All right? Let that sit while I make the second one. My second favorite, I'm going to stick this right back in the water, clean that off, is red velvet ice cream. I love it. And I love this one in particular because it has chocolate in it, chunks of red velvet cake, all the goodness of red velvet. And you can see it right here that you love right on top of there. Look at that. I almost want to eat the ice cream all by itself. Scoop number two doesn't want to... Here you go. Fighting it. Stick it back there. And I thought, what else? This nice chocolate stout, it's a really good beer, and it tastes so good right on top of this red velvet ice cream since the red velvet always has chocolate notes inside of it. All right, now for the true test. I'll give it a taste. Banana split first. Mmm. This is so good, and you can taste the banana right before it even comes up to your mouth. And the second one, the red velvet chocolate beer. Mmm. It's so good and it's such a great treat at the end when you're doing your thing, all right? And last but not least, here's the cocktail and the beer mimosa, if you will, for your girlfriends that's not trying to go too heavy on the beer, that's kind of health conscious. We got something for them too. You're going to take your same mixture with pineapple juice, mango juice, and peach juice and get a nice champagne glass for them and fill it up uh, halfway, all right? Because you, you want it to be about the juice and the fruit. You fill it up halfway 
And look at this nice beer. It's a pilsner. It's nice and light. It's really good with seafood, uh, fish, and things like that. Crab. This beer is excellent for us. A nice pilsner beer. And you take it and you pour it right on top like you would a mimosa. Look how pretty that is. Give it a little bit more. How sexy is that? Can you imagine doing this at a football game when they're hanging out at your house? Put a little garnish on top. Cheers. All of these drinks you can do with the happy hour at heatherbeak.com. Try it at home and let me know what you think.